Hey guys, Vivi Chan here. Hope you guys are doing well. So today we're going to continue with some more of One Piece with anime episode 1035. And before we start, I went back to look at anime... No, manga ch volume 66. Uh, I forget which chapter, but uh, there is a scene with King Neptune and uh, Robin talking about Joy Boy. Joy Boy. Yeah, in chapter 649. So I'm gonna talk about it inside the uh, opening. So uh, let's just uh, get into it. So excited. いざでを伸ばして風を切り裂いて己の血づいかいてゆけ。Okay, let's get into it. Okay, I got my bookmark on the exact moment. Yeah, so Robin literally asked, "Who is Joy Boy?" Neptune stops, I and then she says, I read the poneglyph in the forest of the sea. Who was he apologizing to? He's like, you can read that. She says, I'm a survivor of Ohara. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to say. No, I'll tell you everything. I trust you. So here we go. He says, Joy Boy is a person who lived on the surface during the hundred year void. So yeah, I was like, wait, he's from six, no, 800-ish years ago, right? And then that mess the message was meant for the mermaid princess of the time. Yeah, so that's why I was like, he must be a reincarnation or something. If uh if Kaido thinks like there is a joy boy around. And then it says the apology for breaking a promise for ship Fishman Island promise. The contents of the promise are not clear, but someone will come along to fulfill the promise in Joy Boy's deed. So that would be like Luffy or something. Like it's, I'm thinking it's a very high chance Joy Boy is Luffy. Like there might be like something like Momo or something mixed in, but it's like has to be Luffy because Luffy is the one who made the promise that he's going to change um, Fishman Island, at least according to the legend. So we believe in that day and uphold our part of the promise by protecting Noah through the generations, for it is not until the day the promise comes about that Noah will actually, will fulfill his actual promise. And then Lady Shadi's uh, prophecy about Luffy destroying Fishman Island, maybe to change everything. Joy Boy, nope. And then it just talks about Poseidon controlling, yeah. All right, I hope we can get some ass whooping on the Beast Pirate side, man, because we taken too much damage. Plus, Kaido is coming down, so... Ah. And then Zeus got absorbed. I am not sure if he's still able to come back. Oh my god, and then Kid. Hanukkah, <laughs> Pump Gibson on uh, Big Mom. <laughs> They're like gladly <laughs> out of the way. <laughs> Captain Kid? Huh? Oh. Hmm, does he feel Luffy falling? Or is it like the Sea Kings talking? They saw Luffy? Oh, I shouldn't look. Something about the animal pirates. I also have a headache. Ah, uh, too bad they don't have um Dende Mushis or the equivalent in the Wano side. Oh, thank God! <laughs> Imagine she poked her head out and it's the Maddies. Candy arrows, damn. That looks super clear for a moment, so. Dun, 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 dun. 
I wonder if Chopper is gonna develop hockey, right? It would be so satisfying if Chopper would have armored and then hit a uh, queen. Better yet, petals, petals. You think Carrot and Wanda would be able to come back for redemption? Like, they don't have to finish him off, but just have a part of... Hmm... Damn, Chopper... Or... Ten minutes, damn. At least better than three minutes, yeah. And she's there. Oh yeah, so it used to be three minutes. That's what I thought. Oh my god, Chopper actually trusted. Ten times more effective, so 30 minutes? Oh, maybe Chopper has kept the special rumble ball on his backpack for the longest time, but he's scared to use it because I can feel the side effects would be super devastating, like life risking, depleting his life by 10 times or something. Or did he already? Damn, black coffee bean? But what does coffee have to do with dinosaurs? Eh. Like, I wonder how the naming system goes. Where he get black coffee bean from? Alright, nice one, Chopper. Oh my flipping god. Chopper needs help! It's like one monster against two. If he can use the dino to smash petals, petals, at least. Whatever happens, I'm proud of Chopper. He's part of the Cowley Trail and he's able to fight against one of the top three. Oh shoot, they're all going to Momo? Oh, it's announcing the Kaido's this is going to really deplete their morals. Uh, 
Oh. Mm. Mm -mm. Well, that's not true. You're just adding more comments. Yeah. Jimbe, it's been so long. I didn't even know you were fighting Sasaki? What's his name? No. Who's who? That's his name. Oh my god, I feel like it's been like 30 episodes since I saw Jimbe. When did we last see him? Damn, you don't have to say it so slow. Just rub it in your face. Luffy no Aniki. <laughs> All right, girl, it's time to activate your your um dango. All right, Robin's fight. I think this will just make Zoro and Sanji angrier. <laughs> ah, see, I, I think it's Momo feeling Luffy's pain. Oh my god, please someone kill him. I hope he gets betrayed by, um, oh, what's the guy's name? Really, man? Again? Really, man? In front of Momo? Not in front of Momo. Ding! <sighs> Ding! Come on, tell us, tell us. Your location has been discovered. Have you even heard the message, Luffy? <laughs> Well, the most important is them. Get out of there! Friend or foe, would this be Yama... Yamato? I would like Yamato to meet him. It better not be Kanjiro. I'd be so pissed. Fucking bitch, man! It's Oden, isn't it? The fake Kanjiro. The oh my! Kill this guy! Oh, I hate him! I hate him with a passion! No, girl! You're gonna get slashed! Oh! Tell them who it is! Tell them it's Kanjiro in a flip in disguise! Like, Kanjiro they betrayed you once! Like, don't let him continue talking trash. Slice him up. Come on, please. I'm gonna wait till the end of Wano Arc to conclude if Ashra is dead. Because sometimes he will come back, so I don't know, but... 
Because don't they need the nine of them to to defeat Kaido? Along with Luffy, of course. Like, my arm is a reminder. Come on, don't even hold back. Don't, don't have mercy. Don't have a little bit of pity. Come on, please don't. You're just gonna get back slab again. Man, they they loved him, but it's not him, girl. It's not him. No, that hesitation. Oh my fucking god. I can't believe. Shit, you're not gonna die, are you? Kiemon, don't even go to Kiku. You gotta cut him. You gotta cut him! I am so pissed. You, you, you guys, let, let him took down two of y'all! I know she yeah even if it's the picture of Odin she can't slash him but but if he hurts Momo that will defeat the whole purpose of everything come on you gotta live to see the new Wano Oh my god. Come on, it has to be Kiamon to cut him. Come on, Kiamon, do not hesitate. If Ido cut you, go for Momo next! hear your life story. Oh. Mm-hmm. This better be it. Do not tell me you hesitated. Please tell me it's it. Like, I want Kima to be full of rage that he just, you know, he keeps slashing. There's no holding back. <sighs> I know they still consider him a friend, but... <sighs> you can't, man.
then again this guy has been with them for like 20 30 years something it's hard to break the friendship but you know Do we really need a flashback on Kanjuro? Ah, uh, but this is Kiamon's flashback. <sighs> well, Kanjuro does best. Delaying everything. Oh my god, the episode better not end, and then it's like, we still didn't get Kanjiro. This is all on the stage, but in the back. You guys could have been good friends. Yeah, but damn, if you think about it, 20-30 years with people and... He's still loyal to the douchebag king. Yeah, well. I will say that Kanjiro is devoted to the Orochi, but it's like, what do you get in return? I guess this is like how a samurai thinks. Oh no, what's next? Don't tell me it's Kaido. If it's Kaido, goddamn. Like, who else can make such a- uh, It's him, it's him. It's Kaido, it's the big dude. Big guy is here! Oh my god, he's ginormous. Oh my god, Yamato, you gotta come back! Oh my god, each of the Akazayas are falling one by one! Well, that was a nice animation. of a lackluster episode. I give this episode like a five or six. It's on the lower end. Maybe a six because like the two redeeming qualities was uh, Chopper talking to Caesar about making the rumble ball 30 minutes. He said his current rumble ball is 10 minutes, right? Not 10 times the previous because in the flashback he was talking about the making it making it 30 minutes with Caesar but his current one right now is only 10 minutes but then he said his previous is three minutes so I'm not sure if I misread it and he said it increased by 10 or if he just said 10 minutes anyways other than that 
I'm hoping the other good thing this episode was Kanjiro got defeated by Kiamon. Because if he comes back after this, I I'm gonna be so furious, okay? Because this dude doesn't die. Like, I know they made, they set it on the theater. They made it look grand with all the flashbacks and everything. But to me, I'm just like, kill this guy. Kill this bastard, please, man. And I think Kiamon delivered the final splash. But it just took... It felt long to get there because of all the flashback and stuff. And I get it, Kiku, you know, he looks like Odin and you probably cannot slash the image, the silhouette, the look of Odin. But man, this is like the second, maybe third time he's tricked you. Maybe more than that, but I can only think of... I mean, I don't count the first time because, you know, everyone first found out he was Kanjiro and then the, you know a couple episodes back when he pre pretended to be Odin but this time you know it's him you know if Kanjiro survives and he gets his hands on Momo then that's it you know Momo is the legit heir he is the son of Odin that's who you should be protecting at the moment you hesitate you lose yourself and then you're one step behind from defeating Kaido. See, if if you had, if Kai, if Kiemon and Kiku had both defeated Kanjiro together, at least there would be two people to fight, to, 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 to fight Kaido, right? Because Kaido appears at the end. Kiemon, Kiemon by himself just got the bazooka or whatever bad thing smashed on top of his head. That's like an instant death, unless, unless, someone comes but i saw the i saw the weapon hit kiamon ko fatality that's the end like if at least kiku survived she could you know diverge kaido and then maybe they could create a combo attack of course they lose but you know at least they stall more time for momo and shinobu to get away because that's the main point the main point is to get momo out of here the momo is the legacy of Odin, that's who you should be protecting, okay? You know, it's just like, uh, uh, so boggles me that Kiku fell for this another time, right? Oh, I came back after the recording because I wanted to say one more thing. Wouldn't it be way more better to die in battle with Kaido than with Kanjiro? Like, it seems like such a pathetic death to die via Kanjiro, an old, disgusting little rat that betrayed you. Like, it wouldn't it be, to fulfill the samurai way, wouldn't it be way more glorious to fight in death via Kaido? Whether you win or lose, at least you would know you did it fighting, fighting for the cause of Odin. You follow your master's death by fighting Kaido. And like I said, even if you don't defeat Kaido, I feel like there was some way you could have teamed up with Kiemon real quick. You could have done an attack from the back, Kiemon go from the front. You know, Kaido will still sense you, but it will stall the necessary time. Maybe. I don't know. I feel like Yamato would come back, but it'll be at the wrong time. She will see her dad have defeated one of the Akazas, but that could, you know, enrage her and she will go full on against Kaido. And I'm sure she got a chance against Kaido. I don't know if Kaido's gonna hold back just because that's his son, but you know, it's worth a shot. <sighs> Cause right now, no one got a chance against Kaido. Unless Law is coming, but I feel like, I feel like the more accurate person to fight Kaido right now would be Yamato. In this moment, like, we are so tense. We're like, ah, oh, we don't want the back. And then, yeah, when, um, the, I think Bao Huang, whatever his name was, was announcing via Mary's to tell everyone that, you know, Luffy is dead, Kaido has defeated him and drowned him, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, but at least like most of the Straw Hats are like, screw that, we don't believe it. But some people, this could like shake you up and it could make you like, you know, lose yourself for a moment and that's when the enemy can strike you down, right? And, uh... So far, I think Chopper is doing a great job by himself, right? He's handling two of the top guns from two Yonko groups. So I applaud Chopper because like compared to the previous episode where it was Nami and Usopp versus Big Mom, of course, you know, like I said, the bajillion time, they, they are not at the level to fight these monsters, but I am applauding Chopper for doing as much as he can. So that was the... That was a good part of the episode, although the two are not getting injured at all. So we need people to come hurry up and uh, help to defeat them. Yeah, like the samurais are just getting hit or protected by Chopper. So that's not good because Chopper, if he's if he's able to get hockey anytime soon. 
Yeah, like I need Nami and Usopp to get an opponent that's kind of their level so they can like fight and defeat them. Like I don't care if they work together or something. Please just like, I don't want them to keep running away and screaming and stuff. Yeah. And uh, yeah, looks like next week is going to be a recap special five episode. <sighs> okay, I feel like I raged and like... <laughs> Uh, ranted this episode so I mean I feel kind of bad but at the same time I don't because like I feel like this what is this episode huh nani <laughs> okay uh I guess we're gonna skip for next week and uh we will be back for more in two weeks so see you guys then feel free to let me know what you thought about this episode or you're as pissed as me I'm trying to read your comments and see you guys for next time peace out